Welcome to my channel where I share with you tools and techniques for making your first feature film. Hello, I'm Jeremiah, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about feature film budgeting and how to figure out how much it will cost for you to make your first feature film. Okay, let's get started. When you're creating a budget for your first feature film, it can be hard to know where to begin, especially when you look at how much other films cost. A typical Hollywood film costs anywhere between 50 to $200 million, while most low-budget indie films usually cost under $1 million. But then some indie films cost much more than that. For instance, the Indie Spirit Awards, which is basically the Oscars for independent filmmaking, they classify low-budget indie films as any films that have a budget under $20 million. And then they have a separate category for films that are shot with budgets under half a million dollars that they call the Cassavetes Award. Now, for those of you that don't know, that's named after John Cassavetes, who's really the OG of independent American cinema. And if you've never heard of him, then your homework assignment for this week is to watch one of his amazing films. Now, my personal favorites are A Woman Under the Influence, the film Husbands, and the very un-PC titled film The Killing of a Chinese Bookie. Another independent filmmaker, Robert Rodriguez, who's a heck of a good director, he famously launched his career by making his first feature film, El Mariachi, for $7,000. Now, this was back in the day before digital when you had to shoot everything on film. And he wrote a book about doing this called Rebel Without a Crew, and it's definitely worth reading and I put a link to it down below. Now, some bits of trivia about that film, El Mariachi. Yes, he made the film for only $7,000, but that was only to shoot and create a rough cut of the film. It cost another $100,000 to finish the film and get it ready for a theatrical release. Also, he ended up remaking the film with a higher budget and starring Antonio Banderas. Let's play. And if you're a real film nerd, it's interesting to watch both versions, that early version of El Mariachi and then the later version back to back. And I'd like to take a moment to ask you, if you haven't already, to subscribe to my channel. And when you do subscribe, to just write in the comments, I subscribed. It really helps me out. Okay, well, these are good stories. But what do they have to do with figuring out how much my film's going to cost or your film's going to cost? Well, I want to use another analogy, and that is about building a home. So I'm up in Sonoma County for the month, and I'm actually filming in the town of Kenwood today. And in Kenwood in 2017, uh, there was a fire. And in this particular part of Kenwood, uh, 26 homes burned down. And if you look around the neighborhood here, there's empty lots, but there's also a lot of new homes, new builds. And it got me thinking about when you're thinking about your budget for your film, you can use the analogy of building a new home. When you're thinking about building a new home, you are looking at the square footage. How big is your house? Because that's going to tell you how much it's going to cost to build. There's a certain dollar amount per square foot that you're typically going to spend. Then you've also got to be thinking about what is the land cost. That's got to be factored into your budget. You have to be thinking about are you going to do high-end appliances, low-end appliances? Are there any special features? Is there a pool that you want to be doing? So it's a similar approach that we take when we're creating our feature film budget. Um, houses and feature films uh, can often cost around the same thing, so it's actually interesting to look at those two similarities there. So when you're looking at a film budget, the first thing you have to figure out is how many days are you shooting? Production is usually the most expensive part of filmmaking. You're on set or a location, you've got all your actors and crew, you've got costumes, you've got vehicles, you've got equipment, you've got all of this stuff that costs a lot of money. And the way to know how many days you're shooting is to look at your script. Indie films are usually shooting four to six pages 
per day. Now, scenes with mostly dialogue are going to go more quickly. Maybe you can shoot six pages per day, while scenes with lots of action or stunts are going to take more time, so maybe those are only three or four pages per day. So if your script is 80 to 90 pages, which is what I recommend for most feature film scripts, especially when you're doing a low-budget one, then you're typically going to shoot anywhere from 14 to 22 days. Now, most features that I've produced usually shoot 18 to 20 days with their full crew and then add an extra day or two for pickup shots where you're filming with a much smaller crew. Now, once you've figured out how many days you're shooting, then you need to look at how much you're paying your cast and crew. Now, most feature films use SAG actors, which is Screen Actors Guild actors. And depending upon the budget of your film, you'll probably pay your actors anywhere from $0 to $1,000 per day. Now, for more details on this, check out sagindie.com. They've got a lot of really good information there. Uh, usually for a film with a budget under $200,000, which is what most first feature films are, you're paying your actors around $200 per day. So use that for your budget. Now on to crew. When you're making your first feature film, you're probably calling in a lot of favors. Help me, I'm poor. And this includes crew. Now for your key crew members, your cinematographer, your first AD, production designer, costumes, gaffer, etc., you're gonna wanna pay them a flat daily rate, even if they're your best friends and are willing to work for you for free. Pay everyone at the same level, the same rate. And that's going to be anywhere from $100 to $500 per day. The secondary key roles like grip and electric, second AD, art department, even PA. Depending upon your budget, I suggest you pay around $150 per day. You could pay less, especially if it's someone's first feature film, but be aware of minimum wage requirements in whatever state you're shooting in. And when I say per day, I mean a flat rate for a 10 hour day, not including meal time. That's the industry standard. If your plan is to shoot more than 10 hours per day, then make sure to let your cast and crew know and pay them accordingly. The most important thing is to be honest and fair and don't exploit people. I've heard about too many indie films over the years having their crew quit in the middle of production because they negotiated low flat day rates and then expected people to work 16-hour days. I quit! <laughs> now, one last thing I want to mention is there is another way to fill out your crew, and that is to reach out to a film school in your area and see if any of their graduates are interested in working on a feature film as interns in order to get a credit on a feature film. Now, that's what we do at the San Francisco Film School where I teach, we actually help our graduates get internships on higher budget independent films that have great people involved. And they do it for the connections and the credits. And it's actually how a lot of the graduates of the school got their foot in the door to the indie film world and then on to Hollywood and television. Okay, let's quickly cover some other key aspects of your film that will affect your budget. The first is costs related to your script. How much is it costing you to write and rewrite your script? Are you doing it all yourself? Are you hiring other people? Are you licensing the rights to a book or are you purchasing the rights to your screenplay? Basically figuring out what are all of the costs involved in creating your finished screenplay that's ready to shoot. The next big ticket item is stunts. Are there stunts in your movie? Is there a car chase? A kung fu fight? Are you blowing up a bunch of things? Right, stunts can be very expensive. So do some research and talk with a professional stunt coordinator and see how much it will cost to do those stunts. The next area to look at when considering budget are special locations. Does your story take place in a fancy high-rise apartment or maybe a French chateau? Will you need to be traveling and filming on location where expenses like putting up your entire cast and crew in a hotel for a week or two will start to add up quickly? And the last area to look at are visual effects, 
and your post-production. Does your film even have any visual effects? Are there spaceships or alien creatures that are essential to your story? What are your plans for editing your film and for sound design? What about music? Music can be really expensive. Are you licensing songs or maybe hiring a composer? Figuring out the answer to these questions will help you immensely in creating an accurate budget for your movie. Well, thanks for watching. Budgeting is a big topic, so let me know in the comments below which of these areas you'd like me to cover in more detail. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And when you do, it would be great if in the comments you wrote, I subscribe. Growing this channel will help me share this knowledge with as many people as possible. And as always, if you're interested in raising money for your first feature film, then please check out and download my free ebook, The Feature Film Fundraising Starter Kit. There's a link to it down below. Cheers, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.